Hi, this is Pete with Wrap My Spider. Today we're going to show you a brand new product for the 2020 and 2021 Can-Am Spider RT. We're super excited to be able to have this new product available for you. Uh, it is an alternative to our current uh, switch panel uh, decal graphic that we have. And what it is, is our new uh, real carbon fiber uh, switch panel kit. Now this is made out of the same material that we make our current uh, Can-Am Spider dash kits. This is uh, real carbon fiber weave um, under a polyurethane top coat, which as you can see, it gives you a profile, uh, unlike the uh, current uh, graphics that we are producing for scratch protection. So it's a really cool product. Um, we've been producing this material for many, many years. We have uh, dash kits available for um, every model spider uh, that's come out. Uh, we also have some other finishes and wood grain and things of that nature. But uh, this is the most popular and the one that we chose to release for the 2020 Can-Am Spider or 2020 plus Can-Am Spider um, RT models. So this kit is going to be just like our other kits. It's going to fit the um, RT Limited and the regular Can-Am Spider RT. Um, it's, it comes as a three piece kit and we're super excited. This is one we've been wanting to get created and released um, for quite a while. And we also have the um, matching glove box kit, which we're going to do a video showing you how to apply that as well. So that's another three piece kit that'll be uh, up and coming. So watch for that. But today what we wanted to do is um, show you an application video on how to put this new 3D domed switch panel on in our real carbon fiber material. Um, so as always, we are recommending that you're in a controlled environment, uh, 65, 70 degrees for sure, as far as uh, air temperature, as well as the temperature of the bike. We don't um, recommend installing this in cold temperatures. Um, it does have the uh, 3M adhesive, which uh, gives us insurance that once you put it down, it's gonna stay. But uh, application temperature is important, so keep that in mind uh, when installing your kit. So. Uh, as you can see from the surface of this uh, stock finish, that gloss black is uh, very difficult to keep the scratches off of. And uh, as a result, we've created products to help to enhance the appearance uh, as well as protect from the scratches and, and uh, scuffs that these easily easily show, as you can see from there. So we're taking our 70% uh, rubbing alcohol uh, pretty standard for everything that we do. Most of our videos feature the 70% rubbing alcohol, kitchen paper towel, prepping the surface. You want to make sure that there's no wax or silicone based products on here. You want um, really good stick when it comes to applying this uh, product. So you can take a piece of tape, stick it to it. You can see the good resistance we have here. So we certainly know it's ready to accept uh, this new real carbon fiber dash kit. So what we've done in advance, um, this is kind of an option for you, but it does seem to make alignment a little bit easier. Of course, whenever you get your product, you're gonna wanna dry set it. And that is just put it in place so that you can see how and where it's gonna fall. What we did to make alignment easier is um, I just took a grease pencil and marked the top of the kit. Uh, and then a little bit here on the panel and then I did the same thing at the bottom. So I've got two marks that help me with alignment. So your alignment from corner to corner on this side and uh, this alignment here, which helps us with alignment on each of these corners as these legs um, come up and fall into place. So with the way the kit's designed, it pretty much will fall in place because of how rigid it is. Um, and that is an advantage for you uh, as an installer or someone that's going to put this kit on yourself. This is not super hard to do, um, but we just thought we would cover it for you to uh, give you a better feel. So um, our recommendation is when you do this, you can just lightly kind of 
get these arms to, to go in the air. See how it's got a, like a little bit of curve to it? Um, and that's that way they're not going to hit the surface when you peel the adhesive. So the idea is um, our first initial tack point is going to be right along this leading edge and that's going to get you your alignment. Um, so you're going to initially tack at the top right here on that leading edge, checking each side. And then we're going to work our way down and out and then up on these legs. So uh, our surface is prepped. It's ready to accept the material. So what you're going to want to do is uh, expose the backing. And that's that 3M uh, gray adhesive. It's tacky, so be careful with aligning. You want to try to hit your marks on the initial tack. You certainly don't want to put it down real hard, just lightly, lightly tack. So I'm just moving these up a little bit so that they'll be up in the air. And of course, we're going to, for alignment purposes, I'm watching my top mark first. So as long as I hit my top mark and have it aligned, everything else should fall into place. And I, you're looking left and right to make sure that you're even and good. We're going to give it a little tack. Uh, and this gets pretty rigid depending on the temperatures in, that you're installing in. But what you want to do is, once you have your initial tack, we're going to check our positioning down there. It looks like it's going to fall. So then we're just going to work from the middle towards the outsides. And you do have to put quite a bit of pressure on it um, because the whole idea is to set that adhesive down evenly. Uh, see how I'm working down to the bottom mark? and then to the outsides. Um, you don't want to trap an air bubble in this because um, it could potentially show. So that's one side that's down from here down. And then again, I'm just, I see how I have my finger under here too, just to keep that edge up. That's to, to keep it up until I want to push it down. And so I'm working my way down to the bottom and the outsides. And then for these legs, they should pretty much fall into position where you want them to fall, but you can gently guide them into place. And the point is supposed to stop in the middle of the, the part there. And then on this side, you can see you got a little bit of tack going. We'll just kind of work it up a little bit. Make sure we get it to fall into place where we want it to go. And then once you have it, you can work it into place. We're gonna go back and, and heat it. Um, once the complete kit on, kit's on. So this is the main uh, part of the kit uh, as installed. And then what we did to make application easier is we, we have the top pieces, I guess you could call them um, kind of like flags, that are going to go on the top. And once the two come together, um, it pretty much looks seamless. So again, we're going to peel the backing off and expose these. Now for alignment, of course you want to dry set them and see. These are pretty much made to, to fall into place. You may have to finesse um, the leg part of this just a little bit. Uh, and that's normal when doing a dash kit. If you need to, you can, you can apply a little bit of heat to this tail here. Not too much, you don't want to get it too hot to help you to finesse it into place. Um, and we'll see if we need to really do that. Um, but have your heat source ready uh, just in case you need to apply a little bit of heat to it. So um, we're going to expose the adhesive. And for alignment, you're going to want to watch uh, this inside corner edge up into here for where you're going to put it. So typically what we would do is um, hover the part. You also want to make sure that you're inside uh, the edge here on the outs outside, inside of the gray is what I'm talking about, making sure that you're in position that way. But you should, that leading edge should go right around that corner there. So I'm going to tack the inside corner right there. And then we're going to look at the, the leg here, making sure it's in place. We'll tack the leg and then see my fingers underneath that corner again. And we're just working from the inside here by the key to the outer edge.
and getting it to fall into place. And once you got it all down, we can do the other side. Same thing. So watch your alignment. I'm gonna make sure that we do this so that I'm out of the way. Wanna be right on the inside on the black, following that edge. And then just kinda a guide that leg into position. And there it is. Now, once, once you have the kit down and in position, um, we want to apply a little bit of heat to it. So typically, we're going to recommend, um, if you're using a hair dryer, that's fine. Um, basically, you want to warm all the surface area here and make sure that that adhesive is good and down. So microfiber, um, this is super durable, doesn't scratch very easy at all. But you're going to use a microfiber and some heat. And basically, we want to warm it up. And this is helping you with adhesion to make sure that the part is down and sticking well and that you don't have any you know, trouble in the future. But you can take the towel and work it into place. Warming the surface. And that'll help that adhesive to really tack up throughout the whole surf contact area. And then you can do the same thing on, on these area here. You don't have to go super crazy, um, but it's nice to apply heat to ensure that um, you, know, you don't have any future trouble. But if you make sure that the surface is prepped well and that um, you're applying in the, the correct temperatures, then once you put the kit on, it should stay on indefinitely. There should be no trouble at all. So this is uh, the new 2020 Plus Can-Am Spider RT 3D domed switch panel. And we already have the glove box kit created. And the next panel we're going to make for you is this inner one. And that'll be produced out of the same material. And that should look like super cool. So uh, just to give you a little view, 